Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Today is a little different video. We are going to be revealing, me and Sunny are going to be revealing mayhem. Mayhem that has occurred at the Paper Outpost in the craft studio. Yes, okay, here's a little, here's a little mayhem going. What are you doing? Nothing? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> yeah, you were just running around in circles, weren't you? No, 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 I wasn't. I, I was sleep. Okay, maybe I wasn't sleeping. Okay, see, he is an active dog. He does active dog things. <laughs> what, are you do what are you doing, big guy? I'm little. <laughs> yes, you are very little. He's very excited right now. Okay, so enough of the dog. All right, okay. No, there's never enough of me. Okay, I know, I know. <laughs> All day, every day. Okay, so back here. Mayhem has en ensued at the Paper Outpost Craft Studio. We are now going to be revealing the mayhem. What once was such a pretty picturesque, a year and a half ago, Studio has now turned into Calamity Pam's Oddities collection of unknown whatnots. Oh, here's an interesting pile. Okay, so here's some of that. Just scanning down. This is like showing you my dirty laundry. This is this is like really embarrassing, but there's a couple of extra backup printers in case my one printer fails. I like to have what they say is two is one and one is none. Here's an absolute calamity waiting to be organized. Somebody says, please organize me. I once had purpose. And now I'm just a pile of papers shoved in in a random fashion. Yeah, that's the way it goes. And the drawers of what, look at, collapsing, collapsing due to the weight, inappropriate slidage. Maybe the, the drawers themselves are not tight enough together. The bars on either side, maybe I need to like, all the little screws at the bottom and that need to be tightened. Okay, I didn't ask for neon. I got neon today. It looks like orange in here, but it's actually pink. I don't know why it looks like orange, but um, it's pink. Um, neon. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's what I got. Um, this is really non-functional back here. All this great stuff that I cannot access at all. Like, hello. I can like maybe get in that bar and that's it. So that's absolutely makes no sense. And I've got, you know, a whole drawer of those. Those are my least used items, but all this whatnot that appeared on top was not, there was no, there was not supposed to be whatnot. It just, it just is at this point. So, okay, it looks a little more orderly along here. A little more. I mean, it has baskets of purpose. That's good, right? Okay, we, we think so. It's just like my little art wall. Um, yeah, those are my folks. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And uh, these are actually two people that look like my folks that aren't my folks, but my parents had a shoe store, so I thought it was kind of cute. I just pulled it out. Here's some stencils that won't fit anywhere else. There's my tree stencil. That's right. I haven't used that in a while, probably because I forgot where I put it. I did forget where I put it. Okay, here's my huge collection of punch stamps. Uh, punch stamps. These are not punch stamps. These are paper punches. Um, and I'm learning to pull from them. I, I did use them the other day. Felt feeling very good about that. I think I used a whole one. Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> and there's my little collection of old stuff up there. That's my dad's violin. That's an old scrapbook. We were going to take a, a peek through that at one point. Those are some old Bibles. And that's an old document of some sort. I can't remember exactly what. Um, just interesting things when I was early on collecting. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Oh, here's a nice pile of mayhem. Yeah, there we go. These are my... Do I have two boxes? Of, what is in this box? I don't even know. What, I don't even know what's under there. Oh, apparently I have another printer. Never made it even out of the box. I guess I was panicking one night thinking I need four printers. Apparently I don't. I've been using the same one for... I would say probably two, three months now. And um, every once in a while they get what I call factory full. The printer thinks it's done. It's not really done. But it thinks it's done. The company has convinced it thinks it's done. If you call the company, they'll tell you it's done. You need a new one. But there are ways to make it undone. I don't know if they're legal or not. I don't know. But I followed a couple YouTube videos and it worked. <laughs> so basically, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how I do it, but there are videos on that. Just go check those out. But basically, the machine, the printer tells you when the ink overflow ink pots are full. And there's a way to empty them and reset the ink pot counter, which is not super hard. Um, 
Uh, anyway, that's that's the gist of it. And there are little things out there that you can you can it, yeah, I, I purchase for like seven or eight bucks or something that can help you reset it. Um, I am not technically savvy, so it took me, you know, a little bit to figure it out. But once I figured it out, it was like I had a, an eighty percent new printer again. So. I don't, I don't know if you ever get back the whole 100%, but maybe each time you get 80%, so it's 80% of the last 80%, so it might be like a little less, a little less, but I've never hit rock bottom yet, so I don't even know if that's a thing. And this looks like my cousin, so I put it up there. Yeah, I just love that picture. I think it's so funny. It reminds me of her so much. Okay, so uh, what else we got? We got, uh, I showed you that mayhem. Oh, these are um, stickers. Uh, yeah, stickers, old black and white photos. What's this? Stamps and whatnot. Here's stamps and here's whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. You know, who came by and dumped that on there? I don't know. Here's a great storage place for the Cropodile 2 Big Bite, which is probably one of my most valuable tools. Yeah, just kind of like hanging out on some 1698 year, you know, books, like year you six, I don't know, not very well stored. Okay, so what do we have over here? We have a little collection of pens, some squirty bottles, some wipies, and a little whatnot down there. Okay, so what's actually on the desk today? It's not bad. It is not bad. This is a good day in my realm. So we have this. We have some, these were here from the other day. I need some water. Um, I'm like <laughs> looking at that water ball going, I need some water. <sighs> okay, um, and under my desk, I store some extra paper. The, the yellow one is my um, a lightweight cardstock. And there's usually other things down there, but I've moved them, so no use telling you about something. Oh, here's my new craft chair. Did I show you that? It's actually, it's like a bar stool sort of thing, but it's got a, it's soft. So it's comfy on the bumpski, and it's got a little place for the feet. It doesn't roll, which is good. I don't worry about running over puppy feet. Here's my steamer trunk of whatnot. Yeah, it's all, it's my personal scrap box of whatnot. There's the garbage. Yeah, I know. Um, there's the actual printer in question that cranks out all the print and mail digikits. There's my little guillotine cutter, paper trimmer, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see. What else is going on here? Oh, here's my picture of Mona Lisa for inspiration. Let's see if we can get, you know, the Leonardo da Vinci flowing in all of us. And I think that's more Leonardo right there. I think it came maybe from the same book. Not sure. Uh, but I do like that. Here's an extra cutting mat. I think I have three or four of those floating around here somewhere. You probably can't see it because they're behind the whatnot. Here's the TV I never use. Yeah, I had to have that for some reason and never use it. Um, uh, here's like drawers of, oh goodness gracious, watercolor. Chalk. Oh, here's a hair. Chalk. Chalk. No, like pastels. Chalk. Okay, more watercolor. Coins, foreign coins. I like to collect those. Um, oh, here's some pastels. Oh, what, what, what is this doing in here? There's no purpose in there at all. It, it feels dry. Uh, I bet it is dry. I'm going to pull it out. Here's my very decorative dried lavender. More pastels. You know how you, I must have just come along and stuck stuff in here. Um, what else we have? Oh, there's my little yoga bunnies. These are the originals. My digi kits, the ones I drew. Oh, here's a whole bunch of uh, glue sticks. Just random stuff. I'll never think that that's in there. More random stuff. Uh, no label. Oh, there. I'll, why would I ever go in that drawer? Here, let me go in the drawer of non-labeling to find stuff that's randomly shoved in there. That's, that's really effective. Glue sticks. Yep, got a lot of those. Uh, random tape. Yep, I use that. Glue. I use glue. Yep, different glues. Um, that's not my, I have a different place to store my Fabrifix. Oh, I have some, look fresh, look at that, gathered twig. Oh, somebody must have sent me this. Um, this is nice. Oh, all brand new and, and, and little things and everything. Oh, I got a whole bunch in there. Look at that. I got to go through those. Um, fountain pen stuff. Could never figure out how to work a fountain pen. I really tried. I had lofty dreams. I was going to be the great calligraphist of the 20th century or 21st century. Here's an uh, old foreign uh, currency, defunct, for, con, defunct currency, not easy to say. Um, oh, I always forget the names of these things. What is this? Um, not scribble rolls, snippet rolls. That's it. Oh yeah, oh, that's a pretty one. See, I forgot I made these, dagnabbit. That's pretty. <laughs> I should use that, okay. 
Yeah, that's what happens when you put stuff in drawers. You forget about it. So it's good to go shopping at home. This is the shopping at home tour. What's that? Oh, these are, um, this is caulking put into these kinds of, where is that? That unbeknownst silicone cake mold icing things. And you put it in there and then you peel it out and then you have this pretty stuff and you can put that on your journals. Uh, Heather at Thicket Works showed us how to do that and that was very fun. So check her site out. Oh, look at I, look, I individually wrapped them and everything. I was a really good crafter at one point. I was so organized. Yep, that ship sailed. Okay, more of those. Hey, I had to have everyone known on the planet. Didn't clean them well either. Yeah, that sounds like me. Okay, what else do we have down here? Oh, what's that? What's this? Oh, here's my re curse. Oh, and look at, do I ever need to buy another uh, thing? You know, like spongy? No, I don't. Okay, here's my Bombay inks. I remember these being super expensive and then I was so, they were so expensive I was afraid to use them. And when I realized, when I learned I was unable to operate the fountain pen, I didn't, you know, I thought, well, I need to use up these great colors. So I, I dyed paper with them because I had so many of them. It's probably the most expensive way to dye paper. Not necessary. You could probably use food color and be just fine. Um, but if you want to blow all your hard-earned money, just go buy some Bombay inks and do it that way. They come out really pretty and you can get different colors. Ah, oh, that one. Okay, there we go. High quality. Oh, look at all the jewelry wire in here. Yep, had every every color under the sun. Yep, still as full as when I got it. it? Oh, burlap, photo corners, and coffee filters. Yep, a crafter's dream. What's in here? Oh my gosh. Okay, not, not pretty, but functional. Instant dried coffee. That's Mod Podge or Elmer's glue, one of the two. Um, yeah, and stuff like that that wouldn't fit anywhere else, you know. Okay, what's here? There's uh, plastic sleeves. These are my original fundals for myself when I was making those. Oh, oh, I do have a, a napkin bin. I forgot about that. What's this? More papers. Oh, more of those. Oh, somebody please save me from myself. Here's my stationary little section. Totally unorganized. I pulled out a bunch recently to work with. Extra long, wide papers. What's up here? These are watercolor papers, envelopes. Oh my gosh. Oh Lord, more, you never can have enough stamps. You know what I mean? No, nope, apparently not. And what do we have here? Tickets, uh, re these are reproduction um, Victorian scraps. And there's some real ones in here too, down below, but that has to be organized yet again, yet again. Here's some of my postcards. I forgot I had these actually. Whoop, something fell. Oh, I just unplugged my printer. Hang on. That, that I have to fix before I pull my hair out wondering why it's not working. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Is it in? I think so. Okay, sorry. Sorry for the seasickness trip there. Um, what's this? More glue. More weird little glues. Um, oh, random. Random whatnot. Oh, the printer's trying to come back to life. More random whatnot. I, this is labeled random whatnot though, so we're okay. I passed the muster. Oh, the old keys. I love those old keys. Yeah, they're great. I just, I'm addicted to those. Um, pencil stuff. More pencil stuff. I used to pencil draw before I did any of this stuff. Um, really enjoyed doing that. Oh, I have a, an extra mic. It's a wired mic, I think in case this one fails me. Those little glass stones. Oh, an empty drawer, look at that. Uh, for an ID, for an ID, okay. And um, so there you go, let's, let's just take a back. We're just gonna back and pan, see what this mayhem looks like. Not pretty right now, probably need to do something about it. May not happen for a while, but it's in the turnip and the wheels are turning. So maybe we'll do some videos on a big clean out one day and uh, just maybe rearrange and do stuff like that. Um, it's functional. I can operate in here. I can see my floors. I'm not falling over anything on my floors, which is very important. I highly recommend you keep your floor, floor space clear so you don't fall. Yeah, we don't want any crafters going to ground. That's not a good idea. Um, oh, wait, oh, let's see, I, I have hidden some things over here. Here's some inks. Um, there's a fancy stapler, there's a paper cutter, there's some, I don't know, books or something, paper, um, other whatnot. No, yeah, not good. 
There's some writ dyes. Those are very good in that drawer right there to uh, enhance the colors of the eco printing. If you just want really vivid, sharp borders to your plant pictures, throw in some writ dye. It looks really cool. I did it with black, I think, or charcoal, and it came out really neat. But I haven't tried other colors yet. So, yes, there's a lot to be done here. What can I tell you? Well, we will do some of it, but not today. Yep, yeah, that's what's going down at the paper outpost. So, you have a lot of these beautiful old papers. Oh, I just love this stuff, this handwritten stuff from old days gone by. Ugh, ugh. 18, look at that. 1894. Oh, so nice. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at the handwriting. Look at the handwriting. It's just perfect. I, we have your letter of yesterday, and we shall endeavor to obtain the exact date of Arthur's, Arthur Mather's birth for future use. Look at the spacing on that. That's very interesting, because usually back then they were very... No, they weren't. They used all the same spacing. What am I talking about? I was, I was going to go into this whole, launch into this whole speech of, they were very frugal with their paper and they used up every little bit. That's more in the airmail letters, I guess, but this must have been, I don't know. I don't know. This looks like it was delivered by post and it's old. So there goes that theory. I guess some people were cheap and some weren't. There you go. That's the nuts and the bolts, but that's what I'm going. I'm going with that theory. What is this bucket? Pray tell, Missy. What's that? Can you please identify that? Oh, I know exactly what that is. I put that. Why did I, why is there a pile of plants in here? Huh. I like them. I don't, didn't even know I had them. They're beautiful. I can use these. Okay, what's that? Extra paper. Uh-huh. Who, who did this? Who caused this monstrosity of something? I might, somebody needs to get a hold of this person and, and, and take them away because... They're, they're running amok in the streets freely at night where the rest of us are sleeping soundly and we think everything is okay, and it's not. <laughs> because somebody is making this mess. It's, this can't possibly be me, is it? Did I do all this? But that means I dragged home every little bit of this at some point. Or I, I had it mailed here, let's, let's be honest, in today's day and age. Probably a lot of it came in via Amazon or eBay or Etsy or something. And um, there you go. Probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have shown that. Um, that's okay. Um, but you've seen it here, folks. This is reality. We go from here. We will craft on together. And um, yeah, let's just focus on that beautiful giant scrap trunk. Does anybody else have a scrap trunk? Come on, fess up. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> okay, Bueller. <laughs> okay. So if you don't know, I do have a fundal special. Um, it's a triple bonus. You get added, added automatically. So you could have more papers like this <laughs> in your house. Um, but maybe you'll get some really special ones too. And, um, they're very fun to make junk journals with. If you like the feel and touch of old and interesting papers, go for it. You don't need a code or a coupon. It just magically arrives at your door. Free priority mail shipping if you go into my Etsy shop and buy a fundal in May of 2023. There you go. I have a newsletter, uh, f which you get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the book paper, uh, bookmaker, and a um, page list of ideas on how to break a blank page. I have a podcast. I have an Etsy shop. I have an Amazon shop where I show favorite tools and supply links. Uh, if you see me use things here, you can also use those links and it does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using those links. I also have a t-shirt shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, well, there you go. You can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug tote or water bottle for gift giving or for yourself. And I also have, um, what else? There's my little HEPA filter cranking out in the corner. Um, uh, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And remember most of all that fun can be simple. And let me see if we can find little Mr. Snuffles. We'll sneak up on him. Oh, I think I see him. Let's see if you can spot him. Okay, there he is. Can you see him? He's very hard to spot because he's white. He's hard to see on the floor and hard to see on the couch. So we'll sneak up on him quietly. Shh. Here we go. You spotted us coming in. We're coming in for a pup. No, no, don't show that. <laughs> And nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Here we go. There we are. Yay. 
Yay. Okay, so are you ready for a pup date? Not really. I, I wasn't even in, called into hair and makeup yet. I'm just here lounging. I need my beauty rest. Okay, well, do you think you can give us a little something? Okay, so mom didn't wash my face today, and we went on a walk, and I got dirty feet. They're not bad now because I, all the dust came off, and it's in the house. And what else can I tell you? Um, the, lo the, the male person came, and I barked. <laughs> yes. Squirrels came, and I barked. Yes. And what are you, what are you doing to me? Ma, ma stop that. You're, you're, you're confusing me. Okay, sorry. All right. Um, what else? Okay, so I'll go upside down so you can see my upside down white steel look. Here it is. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it in Sunshine's Day. There was no chicken. Reporting no chicken day. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, Sunny, that's pretty good for today for this impromptu pup date. Not bad, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, well, t um, thank you everybody for hanging in there for this um, goofy little um, you know, life of a crafter video, where we're at, state of affairs, as of today. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>